forward and backwards play in that shaft. I aligned the entire car at nighttime with just my eyes. Kind of goes straight, but the steering wheel is like a little drag. You were right, dude. Actually, oh, I told you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One tire squeal. Ooh, there's two tire squeal. Damn, okay. What's going on, guys? I have a turbo and a blow off valve in my hand. Welcome to Puzzle! <laughs> All right guys, in this video I figured out that a Ford Focus ZX3 is one of the best platform cars that you can possibly get because it is so fun, it's surprisingly fast, and it's extremely cheap to fix everything on it. In this video, that's exactly what we did. Here's how I fixed this car for under $250. All right guys, so this is the layout of parts that I have ordered so far. Right now we have tie rod ends right here, fuel line tools, oil filter, fuel filter, motor mounts, transmission mount, a grill right here, and lower control arms. Just to do a front end rebuild basically. So fix everything and make sure everything is back to regular condition as well as a short throw shifter because those are also really cheap for this car as well let's get this shift knob off looks like we're gonna have to grab some screws out of here with some tens just some regular Phillips right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those out. All right, so that is the new Steeda shifter that is gonna be installed on the car. And as you can see in here, I have the whole dash taken apart. This is gonna sit just like that. And I'm gonna take this apart and get all of this off of the stock shifter and onto this new shifter. All right, so the shifter can come out now. I have all four screws out and the shifter cables out and this camera is falling. Let's have it unfall. So we're gonna pull this out. Now we can pull this out as well. I don't know why there's a piece of rubber hose right here, but there is. That just needs to be replaced with this. All right, so I got everything backed up and now the difference is insane about what this short throw shifter did. This thing used to be like way up here and but now it's just like, just like this. It ain't nothing now. It reminds me of an S550, honestly, but it's a five speed. There's no more reverse lock with this shifter. So it's just down and back, just like my Mustang. Dope. All right, so we went ahead and got that short throw shifter installed and now we're gonna go ahead and do some motor mounts because the car was shaking really bad and you can see later on in the video, I have a before and after. So now we're gonna go replace those mounts. First off, I need to replace the motor mount that's down here. So this right here isn't bolted in because this is a hoopty. So you can just pull back on this tab right here and set this out of your way. I have a jack up under the car lifting up on the engine itself so that way there's no actual pressure on the motor mount itself. I'm gonna unbolt these bolts right here. Yeah, there's a bolt on this side, this side, here, and here. Unbolt all of those and then we'll be able to take the motor mount out. So I'm gonna break all these guys loose. These ones are 15s. And then I can zap those out with the impact now that they're loose. Make this job a whole lot easier. There it is. Pair of pliers works. All right, there's the first motor mount. Let's go ahead and replace that guy. This guy is bad. People of Boy. YouTube, this is Simon. Oh, is the camera's on? Yeah, this is camera. Oh, they saw me in the crash video. Yeah, they saw you in the crash video. I wasn't wearing my GoPro, of course. The one time I don't wear my GoPro. The clutch lever is now this. Um, it definitely pulls the wire. <laughs> this is so freaking sketched. Tanner was his buddy riding it, and then Tanner ended up buying it after he wrecked the bike. You have since sold that bike to Tanner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that back in its little slot. Oh, there should be a screw right there. There should be, but mine didn't come with it. Now that motor mounts back in. Now let's switch to the other side, over yonder, right in the battery box area right there. 15s. Mm. Uh, these bolts come out you're gonna want to jack up the engine again by the oil pan again Which really sucks, but that's the place you can jack up this engine. I'm gonna do it right where the bell housing and the engine meet Oh, that's also a good location It's a 21. Does it have the power? Wow. It really did the whole car moved when it did <laughs> <laughs> What? That one comes out yeah, It looks a lot better than the other one, but it's, it's still bad yeah, it's bad for sure. New one goes in. 
the slides in just like that and everything goes back we're gonna have to get simon's car on the channel and do some right hand drive pranks through the drive through we were planning on doing that a while ago but I kept on falling apart. Yeah, I know. I drove it up there well, for like no. four things it broke. Uh, no, in the road here, dog. All right, battery box can go back in. That's motor mount number two. That would be dope. I'm gonna get one that says Poe instead of Ford or Scoot because that's the name of the car. Oh, is it? Yeah. Dude, that'd be better. It scoots around. It's a little front wheel drive car. I guess I'm gonna just drop that bolt. That one was stripped. There you go. Easy. Old girl out. Cool. Goodbye with the chrome. Hit with the black bumper. It it's like rock chips. So like, what is this? I don't know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the car, man. Wow. That's nice to know. That's what was holding the grill in. A strip screw and a non-strip screw. The new grill's in. Uh, now, we're, now we're in. Okay. <laughs> we'll just leave it like that, honestly. Yeah, yeah. She'll stay in. All right, so me and Simon went ahead and got the transmission mount, which is the bottom mount, which is the easiest one to do. You literally just undo two bolts and you'll be solid. We ended up finding out that the, ha the rest of the mounts were messed up. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on, see if it vibrates like it used to. Hopefully it doesn't. Feels good. It feels great. It feels great. Oh my goodness, this thing is a new car. Okay, so listen to what it sounded like before. Dank. And now listen to what it sounds like now. That's that's pretty crazy of a difference. It's not shaking at all. It's in second, like... Nothing's rattling. No more shakes. You wanna take it for a spin? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Yeah, so I just drove it, but I'm gonna go ahead and let Simon... Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and let Simon drive it real quick so that way I can film while he's driving so I can explain what's going on. Oh, damn. Yeah, the clutch is insanely light. I mean, we only make 85 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> that short throw is so nice. The clutch is like a centimeter. Yeah, my, dude. My, my speed three and my RX seven. It's there like it is. A foot of a clutch. A foot of clutch. Though. Yeah, dude. This thing is like there's nothing to it. It's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> that turbo gonna kick on. <laughs> the turbo ain't quite in there yet. <laughs> Scoot is now even better than it was before. Now we're making this thing reliable. The hoopty did it, man. The hoopty got home. Well, let's go ahead and get on to something else. All right, guys, so it is time to go ahead and replace everything that we're dealing with right here. I have a new outer tie rod, I have a new inner tie rod, and I have a new lower control arms, and that should help fix all of the problems that we've been having with this car shaking and the steering wheel. You'll be able to turn it and it's still not going anywhere, so that should fix all of our problems. So let's go ahead and get started taking these out. There's just two bolts right here, and then there's that right there, which is in the middle, and then the ball joint which is right here that bolt right there which is a 15 and then the torx t50 on the back side and then this right here is a 15 most of this should just pop right off so i went ahead and disconnected everything and i wanted to show you this uh this right here because this is actually pretty important so this is your outer tie rod right here this piece right here which i have a replacement for down yonder and this will be replaced usually these can build slack in them right here right at this ball joint but we have a problem right here because if you can see there is some forward and backwards play in that shaft and that is enough to cause bad steering because you can see this whole shaft moves back and forth. So let's go ahead and get this guy off and get the new guy on. All right, now I have that new A-arm in there just by using that tool that I got from Advanced Auto for free. So I was able to get that tool in for free and if you can see, I can shake this now and nothing is happening. It's a whole lot tighter. That's how it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be uh, as loose as it was. That's gonna make things a lot better and it's gonna make the car drive a lot more straight. So here's the new A-arm that I'm putting in and there's the old A-arm with the bad bushings. New A-arm with brand new bushings and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this 
in there. So Scoop made it to the shop. We ended up changing out the tie rods and everything looked right. I ended up doing the old alignment job via phone flashlight and eyeballing at nighttime. So I'm probably gonna end up having to redo it with a tape measure later on. Meanwhile, the reason why I got the car running and got to the shop is because Zorby is doing Zorby things. He's rebuilding the like- The same car again. The, the second motor, the third motor? Third. Third motor. I'm not rebuilding an engine, I'm just replacing it. This is motor number three now. Yep. But there it is right there and it's finna go in Zorby car. Okay. You're looking good. That's a lot of moving parts. Oh, 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 oh. What's what's going on over here? This is Daniel's first time removing the K-member on this car, so it's kind of a learning process as to what we have to make sure gets out of the way and what gets caught up in this. We don't really know. We're just kind of learning by the first time doing it. That bushing is just getting stuck on the stud on the bottom side of the K-member, and it's wanting to rise up with the car where all that stuff's going to stay on the ground. Yeah. Oh. There it is. Kind of off. Are you good? Yep, slaves free, everything's free. Got nothing connected back there, that's it. Wow. I bet it's pretty satisfying. There is nothing to a Z. The front clip just bolts on. Must be nice. So I'm gonna have a little bit more footage of Daniel and his motor and the process of it, but you can find out the rest of that on his channel. So go subscribe to Daniel somewhere up in one of the corners here, there, left, sideways. I don't know still. I don't know orientation, all this stuff. I'm still learning. Thank you, Mello. <laughs> Mello's in here with the helps. <laughs> I finally got the car back to the shop and I wanted to have Gavin test drive it since he was the one that gave it to me. He knew what the car's condition was before when he gave it to me and then I wanted to show him how big of a difference it was now. I also got a seat from a junkyard and it was out of a 2004 Focus sedan and it worked perfectly fine. It bolted right in. I paid 60 bucks for the seat, by the way. Hell. Oh, dude. All right, I like so. Your key tag, dude. I wonder where you could get those. I don't know where you get one like this, but. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get one like that. You can't get one that's been through all the things that's been through. Also, guys, I'm working on getting my own key tags, and they're going to be pretty sweet. I'm just working on getting them and all the logistics on actually making them happen, but they are definitely on the way. Stay tuned for those as well. Oh, you're going to have to press this button. <laughs> Yeah, it has manual locks. It has a seat in this mod. It also happens to have a short throw shifter. No. Yeah, really just feel it. That's sick. I aligned the entire car um, at nighttime with just my eyes. Kind of goes straight, but the steering wheel is like a little diagonal. So. It obviously doesn't shake as much as it used to anymore. But give it give it a hard shift in a second. Wow, that short throw shift. Though. Isn't it great? Wow. Isn't it I solid? Why? That's kind of impressive with how it was before. Oh, well. That's the rear one. We got speakers in here too. Play some non-copyrighted tra Trace and Mellow. You were right too. It actually is relatively clear. Oh! I told you, dude. She gets oh. down. No one even knows that we're speeding. <laughs> <laughs> she gets down, Dang, son. You can actually bang gears in here pretty well. Isn't it awesome? Surprisingly. Like That's it's pretty crazy. It, How do you? Oh. Nice. I haven't used those yet. I did, serious though. This is surprising. It's, it's not bad at all. Isn't it like, it's dope as shit. Like it's reliable. There's cold AC, everything works. Downshifting, it's really fun. It's like, it's just so easy to drive. There's nothing to it. It's pretty dope. A little a little bit of mods and literally $250. Everything yeah, there. Say, I'm actually pretty impressed. Good shit, good job. <laughs> Daily reliability here, so now I can get A to B and that means we're twin turbo in the car. So next video, we're twin turbo in the car. If you don't subscribe already, do it. If you don't buy merch, do it. Go subscribe if you don't to subscribe, Paul, go buy some merch. Why don't, don't you go buy it? Me. You can I'm win good. a car if you buy his merch, merch though. Subscribe, subscribe to Gavin. To channel if you Thank already. you for this car, Gavin. Oh. Woo! Shit, <laughs> dude. <laughs> 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 the toys, dude. It's like. I signed up for this. When I go on the golf. Somehow, you have done something that you have yet to do. You know what that is? 
but make something go. <laughs> that is buying a thousand dollar car and actually making it into something that's reliable. <laughs> Normally you buy thousand dollar cars and somehow the reason I buy thousand dollar cars is to make them race cars. I, I spend a lot of money on vehicles that are supposed to be reliable. I've never done this whole cheap, I actually like it. This cheap reliable cool, thing. This is cool. Twenty dollars fills up the tank and <laughs> the shifter is fucking cool. Isn't it? I just knew that that would make the car so much more fun and a lot more fun to race and whatnot. I'm being serious. You could probably take this thing autocross after you put coilovers on it. I really would like to. Really you put it on like at least some kind of decent coilover, a semi-wide wheel with some kind of sticky little tire. I bet mm. you would be so cool at autocross. I bet you would be fun. I want to. I want to end up doing that eventually. But realistically, this is a reliable car, so I won't do that until everything I know I said for the sure same is thing replaced. About the GT350, though. <laughs> We're gonna do it one day, but we gotta make sure all our ducks are in a row first. <laughs> Hi, Proof. Right. Tell me I'm the one you should think about at night When you're stuck up on the rocks You can't get over them hills Tell me I'm the one that's here for you when you And you got a little phone charger in here? Yeah, bro. I had to change out the fuse in there. I had to take out this whole entire console to put the shifter in. I this little car is new dope. new front hey, A arms. How did you manage to get us? Oh wait, was this out of this before? No. What was this out? It's out of the junkyard. What car? That's out of another Focus. It, oh, okay, was, cool. it was pretty clean. It was like a 03 sedan, but it still fits. I actually kind of like this a lot. Isn't it dope? It's, just, it's cool because it's like a car that you don't have to worry about and you can just have fun in. Yeah, literally. Like, you went down there, I wasn't even tripping. Like, you just drove straight down that little hill. I wasn't even, like, tripping at all. Like, it's just a little fun car. And it's came a long way in a few days. A-arms, tie rods. My suggestion, my suggestion still is get a new hood, get it coated in some kind of color, Put it on coils and wheels and tires, it'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. I, I want to do that. I also want to get new headlight headlights taillights. eventually yeah. and then nightshade those taillights. They make a set, yeah. but they're kind of like ricer. So I think I might just nightshade those guys or possibly just yeah. get a blacked out set. Straight pipe that mode. I want to get one of those exhaust tips, like one of those like little fart can on it. There's really not much else. Also, do you like my $14 grill? <laughs> Where'd you get that from? From the junkyard show? <laughs> no, dog. I got that from Rock Auto. That's brand new. Brand new, dude. $14. $14. <laughs> Wow. I mean, the bolt right there was stripped, so it's not in on that side, and then the whole front clip is kind of off, so I need to figure that out. But the hood's dope. It is pretty dope. Give you a little kick on the hood. I can't. Seal of can't. approval, bro. Can't. You can't even give it a seal of approval. <laughs> Thank you, dog. Of course you know who Gavin is. He is, he is a great guy. He literally just gave me a car. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Gavin! Thank you very much again. I, I love you, dog. Honestly, this this is a really good guy right here, guys. Go subscribe to him and show him some love. Rob, Rob, you are driving the scoot. Yeet. Yeah. Kerchonk. <laughs> I love. It's not bad actually. What? Bro, this <laughs> horn is so strong. <laughs> There's Jake. <laughs> Give her some drus. Welcome to front wheel drive, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the most fun this car is so ever. Fun. It's so slow, but it's just it's fun to drive. It, it gives you the whole manual experience, but like it's just a really fun daily driver, it honestly. It tells you when to shift too. What OEM car tells you when to shift? That's so cool. Well, look at the tachometer. Oh. The car is like, <laughs> shift! <laughs> shift! Shift me! Shift! <laughs> All right, me and Poe just did a Chinese fire drill in the middle of the road. All right, let's let's go, Poe. I'm gonna take a truck, maybe. All right, let's go. Woo! There's one tire squeal. Ooh, there's two tire squeal. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I get why you call it scoot. This thing's pretty quick. <laughs> she scoots, son. She does scoot. <laughs> and it's front wheel drive, so it just it drags you wherever you want to go. Just Facts. point it, and it literally just goes. It's like, okay, we're going this way. Bye. It's actually like fun. It's, this would be a great autocross car. I Prove would me love wrong. to take this thing autocrossing. I literally would love to. It would be my favorite thing to do. I just need to get a set of coilovers and eventually some sticky tires. And eventually a reliable daily part two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hand this. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is where the car is happy. cool? I do. <laughs> yes, this is how we stop cars. That's there how we go. stop. 
All right, guys, so there you go. $250 just worth of upgrades, just on a few suspension parts, A-arms, tie rod ends, motor mounts, and just some bushings here and there, and a short throw shifter literally completely changed the way that this car drives and operates. It basically seems like it just rolled off the lot. It's actually, it's, it's really interesting, and it's actually impressed to see that you can spend that little of money and actually get that big of a, of a difference from the car being just modified that little bit. Like people say, if you always have trouble, you can find something cheap, and I'm showing y'all that you can make something work with something cheap. Thank y'all very much. Subscribe and press like if you want to. Be great. Send it.